Alright, can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me or not. It's having a little issue with the, uh, with our headset here. <clears throat> Sounds like it's doing better now. Part of it, too, is the wind you guys are hearing. So hopefully the, uh, you guys will be able to hear what's happening. Very funny, Jenna. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, it was like freaking out. I don't know if you heard it when we first started, but it was like all static and stuff. I don't know what was happening. Part of the sound you're hearing is the massive amount of wind. It's very, very, very windy here today. Hey, Deborah Ray. Alright, so you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear the ambient? I know we've got a couple of plane spotters up here watching their parents come in on Air France. Thank you, Matt, man. Alright. Again, I want to make sure you guys can hear what's happening on the ground and hear the planes leaving and this and that, but... So if I may, I'm going to turn it back up here in just a second, the ambient sound, and uh, turn it back up where I had it, because I did turn it down from the other day, is it's just showing straight in the red because of the, what you call it, but I can't hear it because of the wind. But unfortunately, I can't hear it. So you guys are my, my ears to let me know what's happening. But I did want to start early because we did have that early arrival for um, Air France. Well, technically a late arrival. It's usually not here until about 4.30, 4.35. As you guys can tell, the wind is very, very brutal here today. I knew it was going to be windy, but I honestly didn't think it was going to be this windy. What's up? Yes, indeed. How's it going, buddy? Uh-oh. Page to respond to the Buffalo Airport. That's not good, William. Alright, let me make this a sound adjustment here. Alright. Hopefully you guys can hear everything just fine. The, breeze, the wind stopped for just a split second. <laughs> nice two for one shot there. That American in the background. Behind our 787 Dreamliner. So how's everybody's week so far? Good, I hope. A little bit different schedule this week. I wanted to bring you guys the Air France show this week. A couple of Air France shows now our Friday night show is already up and posted as well as today's obviously so we got I did go ahead and post uh, Friday night show as well as of course today's show so make sure you go over there and hit the like button on Friday's show I know it's two days in advance two days early but What's up, John? Good afternoon. Well, another two for one shot there. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow me all over the place. 
I know it's blowing pollen in my eye. <laughs> Ow. Almost couldn't see that touchdown. Ah, hold on. I got pollen in my eye and it burns. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many uh how many uh go arounds we might have tonight. We have, so the, I believe that one that we saw for the two for one is Spirit coming in from Fort Lauderdale. And that is in, I call it confetti, birthday cake, whatever you want to call it. It's coming in in their old livery. i got to wipe my eye. Again. So, we do have that one special today. <laughs> I didn't see any others. You guys know I only check a few airlines. It would be good to see Spirit back again. They've been early morning lately. That looks like it might be it because it's coming in on this side. Oh, I don't even have allergies in mine. No, my feel like I have allergies. Whew. Noah, what's up? Yeah, probably will be. It just arrived. If you missed the beginning of the show, we caught it touchdown. It is technically it's an hour behind, but normally it lands at four thirty. But uh, the skittle livery. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. We're going to swing over here and see. Yes, it is. Battling that wind today. And it is a crosswind. Straight across the airport from the west today. American Airlines, E-175, pushing back, pulling out to the start line. Yeah, we got our triple seven coming in at seven, seven thirty. I seriously thought that they would have changed that by now. I figured it would have been here and been getting ready to leave by now, but I wonder why they haven't uh, changed over to its summertime schedule yet. It's weird. And you are correct, Delroy Ray. Happy first day of spring. I'm so excited, except for this pollen that keeps blowing up in my eye. It could be the dirt on the ground, too, but either way, it's making my eyes burn. <laughs> Oops. 
snowing here in Buffalo. Oh boy. See, that's why I will I would never live further north than I do unless I absolutely had to or had a an opportunity that I just couldn't pass up. I just I'm not Nope. I'd rather be the, where the weather is warm. And it's a nice warm day. Yesterday it was a little on the chilly side. I think it got up to about 58 degrees yesterday. And I was like, yeah, the temperature's going to drop off really quick after the sunset. So I was like, and then it was like, plus, I really want to do an Air France show. So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be doing an, an Air France show for you guys tonight. I have not been to Savannah Airport. Not yet. I haven't been that far south yet. Uh, farthest north we've been for the show has been Dulles. Farthest south is, well, here. And then, of course, I've been over to Charlotte a couple of times for the show. Got another arrival out there. No, Brad's on vacation. I texted him this early this morning to check on him, make sure he was all right. He was like, yeah, I'm good. I've just been on vacation the last few days. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was worried about you. You hadn't, you hadn't been on a couple of shows, so I wanted to check, make sure you were doing all right. He was like, yeah, just on vacation. I was like, all right. <laughs> American, I think that's American E-175. Now, I'm not using flight radar because we're using it for our using the phone for our um, hotspot. That's not an E-175. That's 737. Sure looks small. Little bit of a bumpy touchdown, wobbly as well for American Airlines. What's up? There's Brad. What's up, dude? Hopefully you're enjoying your vacation. And I'm doing well. Battling this wind and this pollen in my face. <laughs> Image seeker, good evening. Robbie, what's up? How's it going? I've not been to to Savannah, no. 
Not been to Savannah International. Could be one of those places that I want to get to. I've got I've got a few airports that I've got to research here for our summertime uh, spotting locations. Yes, the yellow death has hit. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm getting all the yellow death in my eye. I had to pause what I was doing to rub it out of my eye, as a matter of fact. <laughs> like LAX. <laughs> and I'm not going to LA. If I go to LAX, I'm not doing a show there. Let's put it that way. If I go to LA, I'm going and I'm going to have a, a vacation and I'm going to take pictures and hang out and do all kinds of things, but a live stream will not be one of my priorities for LA. A lot of there's a lot of streamers that cover LAX, so I'm like, you know, I think they got it handled. What's up, Jackie? Since I so unfairly missed your membership milestone the other day, I want to apologize to you, Jackie. 110% still looking at work trying to work with this software is difficult okay it popped up in a color and I was like what does that even mean it doesn't show me that it was a mo membership milestone it just sh popped up in another color so apologies yep you Jackie you've got Peter you've got Kevin you've got uh Cali Plains, and I think there's a couple other. There's like five streamers in LA. So LA is well enough covered that I, you don't ever have to worry about me going to LAX to do a live stream. <laughs> I got no reason to go out there. I want to cover stuff like Orlando and Dulles and Atlanta. You know, other places on the East Coast. The West Coast, they, they, you know, there's a lot of people on the West Coast. And that's what I want to bring to you guys. The, uh, as, as much freshness as I can. No, I don't know when I'll make it down that way. Um, is there a good possibility I'll make it down that way? Uh, one of these days, I have a couple airports in mind for this year. It all just depends on whether or not, you know, my time, lines, time off lines up, stuff like that. So, they, uh, you know, it all depends. I do have a day job, so this isn't my main squeeze. So I got to line up time off. I got to line up, you know, a whole bunch of different things. And so. Yeah, we. Uh, I want to stick to fresh airports. Places people don't go. Like Charlotte. You know, they refuse to come to Charlotte because it's all American. Well, I trust me. I believe in the dislike of Amer of. Charlotte because of it being nothing but American Airlines but there is a lot of movement in Charlotte so that's one of the reasons why I enjoy going there you guys enjoy it when I go to Charlotte
thank you, John Southwell. And then you've got Pip, who's doing... Are you in Albuquerque, Pip, or are you in... Um, or are you doing one from, from Santa Fe? Did you drive up there? <laughs> Pip wanted to have a little competition happening today. <laughs> It's like, you know, JFK and stuff. Uh, yeah, I they don't do JFK that often, but they do it enough, and I'm like, nah, people have seen it. Would I rather go to Philadelphia? Absolutely. Would I rather go to Baltimore? Absolutely. Ronald Reagan? 100%. I'm there. Dulles, of course. Granted, now I do want to take you guys to big airports busy airports obviously busier than RDU is currently but we all just gotta you know I just gotta get things together and and plan these trips and put together time off with with my job and this that and the other so and it takes a little bit of time Plus, I'd like to go for more than, you know, one or two overnights. You know, like when we go to Dulles, I go up there, stay a night, do two shows, and then come right back. Other destinations, like if I were to go to Orlando, I want to go down, do a couple of... I'm going to stay like three or four days, do a couple of shows, and then go do something while I'm down there, make a vacation out of it. Bring you guys the planes and have a little fun while I'm down there same way like if I go to Atlanta I want to go to the Delta Museum kind of wish my job would send me back to Atlanta I would absolutely go do that after I get out of class actually I think it closes when I get out of school but I'd much rather them send me back to Miami Fort Lauderdale area but This American right here must be waiting on a gate. Not this one, but the one that we were looking at sitting parked behind Air France. Never been to Mexico. I can't get I can't get Brianna to fly over the ocean. <laughs> She's scared. But I do I do want to know. I'd like to go and do some European stuff at at some point, you know where it's allowed where you know but it's all going to take time that may be years down the road a couple years who knows where we'll be in two three years you know yeah I really want to go to the Delta Museum and I want to go to the Charlotte one when it whenever they decide to reopen it every time I go down to Charlotte it's closed right now they're rebuilding or they're building a new hangar, rebuilding something. I don't know what they're doing. It's supposed to be open sometime mid mid year this year, I think. See, so, yeah, I think this American right here is sitting here waiting to flip around and go back to a gate. Yeah, that's cool. I'd, I would love to go to, like, Cancun or Cabo or something like that. Some nice, warm, tropical destination for sure. Aha! I've been trying to get this plane for a month. Finally, you show your face. You go hide behind a tree. 
It'll hide behind a tree again here in a minute. There we go. We're going to continue to track that one as it comes out behind the trees over here. Because this plane, it, well, one, it's, um, North Carolina University's plane, and its hangar is right in front of our observation deck, and I've caught it a couple times all on the observation deck, but I never catch it during the show, and I see it every once in a while during the show, and by the time I see it, it's too late, it's already backing up to the hangar, I just so happened to see it this time. Any of my Carolina fans will appreciate that plane for sure. So we have three, ma if, if you don't know anything about the Raleigh-Durham area, we have three major colleges. You've got uh, Carol uh, North Carolina University, NC State University and Duke University all in the area so some evenings when we're out here we tend to catch the sports teams flying in and out among other things band cheerleaders we've caught a little bit of, it, of everything out here before I started doing the live shows, the WWE was in town and their private jet came in. <laughs> I have pictures of that somewhere. I'm not sure if that's on my Instagram or where I posted those pictures at. So we do get a lot of cool stuff here. We might be a small airport, but there's a lot to see. And of course we're going to have loof tons of this summer, but unfortunately I don't think, from last week's information, and again I still need to get online and do some more research, but I think that loof tons is going to arrive and be departed before we start our evening shows. So Sunday might be the only day we catch it as long as it's going to do seven, seven days a week. It may be only doing five. I've got to... Uh, Got to do some uh, some research on it. Yeah, NC State University. Yeah. So yeah, he did. That American did f make that flip. He's, gonna, he's waiting on a gate. So I don't know. Let's see. I can't see the other side of the terminal to know if somebody else is pushed back. There's a United sitting over there waiting to, to uh, head out as well. No, I'm missing some of you guys' messages. My thing is very short. And I'm trying to 
empty. There's a lot of private jets parked over there today as, as well. We even uh, we catch the uh, Air Canada for the hockey teams every now and then. Um, coming in to play uh, the Carolina Hurricanes. What's up, John? Haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. As always working. <laughs> yeah, you're always busy, sir. Nope. Only over here at C24. This is the one that Delta used last year um, when Delta had control of that flight. We do have a gate down at the other end that will accommodate heavies as well. Two more at the other end, opposite corners. But we don't have customs, so they don't really uh, find themselves down there. Now, when we had the RDU to Atlanta 767 flight, not this past holiday season, but the season before, it would park at the other end down there, being that it was a domestic flight, but they were using the uh, 767 there for that for a good two, three months, I believe. Quite a while. Got United moving out. Our American 737 <laughs> is trying to get to a gate, and we got one rolling. American A321. I'm hoping we get a good, uh, good sunset this evening. We'll see. I know we didn't get a good one on Sunday. Speaking of FedEx and their 767, we had an odd one this morning. I was looking at flight radar this morning, and uh, we had one that flying from here to JFK. It was weird. It's not something we normally see, I don't think, unless it's early, early in the morning. And this plane looks cool. Trade wings, trade wings on the front of that. As you guys saw, we have a Southwest getting ready to line up. Got a Delta 717 departing over here on 23 right. I see that FedEx out there in the distance. Uh, I don't think any of the ones that fly to uh, 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 to Charlotte are the Neos. Not yet. Hopefully, though. Hopefully soon. I love this shot right here. Such an amazing shot. Especially when you've got the Max sitting there in the sun. And the sun is just in the correct place. One of the best shots, I think. And behind the truck it goes. Got United lining up, I think. Is United? No, we got two lining up out there. 
Got an American E-175 getting ready to get a move on here. Yeah, we got our pine trees in the background. They're the ones causing all the pollen headaches. <laughs> It could be. It could be right. I love the Southwest livery. I think you guys know that. Especially their special liveries. Their one series liveries. The ones with the state flags. I really enjoyed it. enjoy being out here to capture those. I've captured a lot of them. I think I'm only missing like one or two. Last week... Was it last Tuesday? Last Tuesday or Thursday, Lone Star won. Our, the Texas flag livery was here. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it. It was parked. It wasn't in service. So I don't know if they had some sort of maintenance issue happening with that 737 or what. But So United is going to attempt it. We're not going to stay with United too long because FedEx is hot on his heels. Yeah, Tennessee 1 is amazing. We've caught it several times. We've caught Illinois, Florida. Um, who else have we caught here on the show? Come on, dude. You better move it. Are we going to have a FedEx go around here? What is happening? Do we have enough time? I'm not even going to stick with United. I'm not even... Nope. Right here is when I need a little bit wider lens. You can see United getting a move on there on the left side of your screen and on the right side of your screen you've got FedEx. Is that FedEx? Who is that out there in the distance? Double FedEx action here. Two seven six sevens arriving. Very nice. This is weird that they're arriving together like that. But I like it. You guys keep that up. Double heavy action. Good evening, DB. Lots of action happening. Got another Southwest coming in over here on 23 left. If I miss anyone's message, I do apologize as I am <laughs> operating the camera. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. I love this shot. Let's see. All right, let me scroll up here while we have a minute. I have seen California and Colorado. As a matter of fact, Southwest contacted me on um, Instagram 
asking if they could use one of my shots of Colorado one. Whether or not they used it or not, I'm not sure. But Southwest has asked to use some of my photography. JetBlue has also asked. Frontier has asked. And both of them, Frontier and JetBlue, have both used some of my photos and some of their promotional photos on their social medias. Here's our other FedEx 767. Our other one is back taxiing now. But we're going to stick with this one. Double FedEx shot there. I actually think one of the only ones from FedEx or from uh, Southwest I'm actually missing is the Trolls livery, and I've I think I've caught all the rest of them. I've caught New Mexico one here on the show. I've caught Florida one. I've caught a bunch of them here on the show, but I've also caught a bunch outside of the show. They are. They did. They gave. They gave me. Uh, they gave me credit for them. I haven't been to a monster truck show in forever.
Got this A319 headed out. Nice and busy here for a few minutes. I am really, really happy about that. Thank you for that update, William. 77 likes. Did we do it before the first hour of the show? I believe we did. We did start early. Dennis Anderson's what's up. I love the grave digger. Me too, William. <laughs> Seems like every year my Allergy to work gets worse. I haven't. I have not been down there. You know, maybe though, you know, if they keep pushing this uh, four day work week, maybe we won't be so allergic to it. <laughs> I keep seeing it in the news and stuff about the four day work week and this, that, and the other. Whether it will happen in my line of work or not, I highly doubt it. Some dealerships do work four days a week, but I don't think that will happen at my dealership. My um, None of the dealerships under our umbrella have a four-day work week. It would be kind of nice, though, if if they did in a way. The only problem is we wouldn't have very many shows during the week because I'd be working until 6 every day probably. But I'd get one week a, a month off. I could do five, five shows, <laughs> five days a month right in a row. Six days, seven days, whatever. <laughs> no, I hope they don't. For us, I hope they don't change it. I, like, I don't want to get off late. Five o'clock is my limit. Yeah, we got some crosswind today. Everybody's been a little on the shaky side on their entry today. Maybe we'll have some more go-arounds like we had on, not this past Sunday, but Sunday before last. It was really windy. The wind kind of died down a little bit, but I think the wind is forecasted to slow down a little bit as the night progresses. According to the trusty old Windy app I use... Oh, almost right in front of the sun. <laughs> Will we get it from the CRJ? Who is up next? We'll see. We do have another arrival, so the CRJ is not going to go out. It's not close enough quite yet for us to focus on.
<laughs> that would be nice. That's awesome, Rail Stalker. I'd like to go for a ride in one of those monster trucks. <laughs> I'd like to go for a ride in a race car. Maybe this year, if I go to VIR, maybe I'll take a ride, take a couple laps around in some of the uh, display cars they have. I don't know if I had to pay for that or not. I didn't ask when I went a couple of years ago. I got my ticket for free, so I was like, you know what? My uh, my manufacturer paid for this, so I'm not asking any questions. <laughs> Jet Blue. This E one ninety. You're not going to get off right there? Darn it. So I'm sure you'll come around here in just a moment. Actually, you might be over on the other side. I don't see anybody getting ready for you. Arriving from Cancun. Yeah, it won't be back here. It's going to go to one of the international gates. Snakes, I don't mind. Spiders, on the other hand, nope. You can keep them. I hate spiders. Ugh, creepy. Will you cross in front of the sun? You just might. Nope, above it. <laughs> Can't find that perfect mix, can we? Somebody to cross right in front of the sun. We do have another a couple of arrivals here. It looks like we got a parallel. Not sure who all is coming in. Probably s southwest. Again, I'm not using flight radar. Now, I've climbed the Hatteras Lighthouse. I was young when I did it, but... Uh, the uh, last time I went there, it was closed, and that was back in 2014. I don't remember why it was closed, but it was. Well, Deborah Ray, hopefully we can bring you some Breeze Airways today. I think there's one or two slated for arrival this evening. My schedule's all mixed up because it's not a Tuesday. Normally we're here on Tuesday and Thursday, not Wednesdays. Alright, touchdown. I got another one coming in. I want to watch them fight the wind. And Delta CRJ sets it down. Got Southwest up next to battle the breeze. As we get deeper into golden hour, this shot right here is only going to get more beautiful.
nice. Let's see, what do we got going on down here at Air France? I already know some of those passengers have left already. There was a, some folks up here waiting. And uh, they, uh, their parents made their way out. Already they left. <laughs> What's up, Vincent? What's happening, sir? Spoke a little too soon on the the breeze slowing down a little bit. <laughs> it is still windy. It's blowing at my back. Thank goodness. Um, we were we were just talking about Southwest and their special liveries. See them quite often, actually. They do a lot of flights back and forth between here and Bwe every now and then. Um, you, we get a streak of them every once in a while. And I, before every show, I like to check to see if we have any of the Southwest specials. And uh, we haven't had one in, in a while, other than the one we had last Tuesday. We had Lone Star, but unfortunately it was down and parked over here behind the parking garage, so we weren't able to see it. I just happened to see it when I pulled in and backed into my parking space here on the parking garage. I was like, is that Lone Star? Sure enough, it was. So We get a lot of, we do get a lot of special liveries here at RDU, whether it be Southwest, American, or uh, any of the other ones. Hey, finally! Hey, Pip, check this out. He sent me a picture of one of these that landed at his airport today. I got one for you guys. If I can keep up with it. You guys hear me talking about hearing them all the time. Finally, we're going to catch one. And behind the parking garage. <laughs> it goes. Saw one coming in as I was getting here this afternoon <laughs> as well. So Glad we were able to get one on screen. I believe it was. I believe it's an Apache. I really don't know my helicopters like that. Now I know my Bells and my Airbuses, but not, not, uh, I'm not too brushed up on my military aircraft. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I had to finally be able to catch one of them during the day. Normally it's dark when they're flying in and out. And I'm always like, I hear them. I hear them. Where are they? <laughs> Never seem to make their way out to where we can catch them. Finally, we caught one up close. Brian Lloyd. What's up, Brian? It's been a good hour. Been nice and busy. <laughs> I do know my bells. Some of them. We get quite a few of them. <laughs> 
Speaking of bells, we haven't heard any bells yet this evening. There's nobody back here. There's one American, and of course Air France, but you can't hear that one. It's too a little too far away. Let's see what we what have we got going on over here in general. A lot of planes parked over here today. Somebody possibly getting ready to leave. This one's been parked here since we got here. <laughs> I'm putting that message up, Vincent. <laughs> Dink. Against the pole it goes. <laughs> Air France, don't take out the other light pole, please. <laughs> they look like they were kind of struggling today coming in like so I don't know they made it in just fine but they look like they were trying to decide and decipher which which line they're supposed to be sitting on Yeah, hopefully we'll get bells soon, William. That's some more cool looking liveries over there at General Ave today. Got that United 737 making its way out. Molly and her bells. <laughs> watching oh so you know I, I always talk about it. it sounds like a carnival so I was watching one of the Disney streamers again and they were over by the big carousel and it uses the same bell as the jetways and I was like oh no wonder it sounds like it it's, it's the same one <laughs> rotation for the United. Got to be a 700 to rotate that early. And above the sun and above the fire escape. Interesting. Let's stick with that one for a minute. Until we can. <laughs> Got another arrival coming. Yeah, hopefully you guys are able to hear the ambient sound a little bit better today. I did turn it, I did make another adjustment. I did turn it up again. Although the wind could be plaguing it. Again, you guys know I can't hear the ambient sound. So hopefully everything sounds amazing today. What do we have here? What is this? Is this jet blue? 
Why does that look green? What is this? <laughs> Again, I only look at it at several ones for special liveries. Brian Lloyd gifting one Carolina Aviation membership. Thank you, Brian Lloyd, for that continued support. Is this our Boston Celtics livery? It is. Jet Blue and the Boston Celtics livery. Ooh, will we get this one up nice and close? We have before. Please tell me you're coming back here. So you asked about getting special liveries. Here you go. Here's one. This one from JetBlue. We also have Spirit's birthday cake, confetti, whatever you want to call it, Skittles, <laughs> livery as well around the back side of the airport due to head back to Fort Lauderdale in just a little while. Get your screenshots ready because that's going to be pretty. As a matter of fact, I'm taking pictures now. I've got this. I have several pictures and videos of this one. It flies in here quite often, actually. And we've caught it on the show several times as well. Yeah, they're getting ready for it. So, she, so she's going to make her way back here in just a moment. <laughs> Jet green. <laughs> I like that. You're not blue, you're green. You look more like a pickle. <laughs> there we go. We can call it the the jet blue pickle. <laughs> I do love this livery. Please make your way back here. They are getting ready for it though, it looks like. Back here on gate eight. Uh, la 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 ten. C ten. Some of the that that sign's not lit up yet. Some of the other ones are lit up and I can't can't see it. Don't make a wrong turn. You're back here. Back here, dude. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> can... Ooh, I can still get a good shot of it. I thought it was gonna be hidden behind the building. What are you speeding up for? You're supposed to be turning around. Is there another jet blue coming in? Diverting from Fort Lauderdale, original destination, LaGuardia. Ooh, I wonder why they're diverting. Alright, we got another arrival as that one disappears behind the terminal there. Hopefully it'll make its way back here. They're definitely getting ready down there it looks like moving some equipment around so we'll see where it goes maybe they were moving the equipment for this e e175 but i don't know where there's nothing better than golden hour. I love this hour of the day. Deborah Ray says, Bells, please. <laughs>
Got another one on final. I'm waiting to see the Celtics livery just come barreling back down this way. Hopefully it does. Alright, Delta A321. We go. Oh, uh, almost. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's the A220 is going to make its way over here to gate C10. So here's C10 right here. They were moving some stuff around. So where is JetBlue's diversion going to go? That is the question. Just have to wait and see, won't we? Yen, Cathay, welcome, welcome. Josh Aldrich, good evening. Welcome in. Great to see all of you in this Wednesday evening, windy Wednesday evening. Many of you guys know, here comes my favorite plane, the A220. I want to take this flight so bad on this A220 to Orlando and back. I need to see if I can't plan that. And it's with my favorite airline, JetBlue. Getting to be a lot more of them here at RDU lately. Which is a good thing. Since we love the whale. UCB, what's happening? 109 likes. Thank you, Brian Lloyd. Oh. It's probably right. Gate C16, the one I can't hear. Probably giving off bells. <laughs> I just happened to look. I looked down and saw that they they moved the gate. So he's probably right. I didn't hear it, but <laughs> so I can't I can't referee for you guys cuz I didn't hear it. Oh, look at that spectacular shot. Snag a photo there. Soon, Deborah Ray. This one will come around and you will have some bells. Not sure what he's waiting on, though. Because he is due to come back here to the closest, one of the closest gates to us. C8, I believe, is closer, but there he is making that turn. Dude, I want I want to do that auto train too, but I gotta drive all the way up to DC. I'm like, mm. as a matter of fact, I've talked about that several times with Brianna taking the the auto train. How I'd like to do it. Cause I want to take my car places, but I don't want to drive it places. If that makes sense. <laughs> Like, if I were to ever go out west for a driving trip, 
I would probably ship my car out there and then fly out and meet it there just to save me all that driving <laughs> or at least past all the boring parts of the country <laughs> All right, JetBlue, will you give us a good hello this evening? Cal, what's up, Caleb? Sorry, I had to read that twice. Can we get a hello? Hey, we've caught this one here, making my big day blue. <laughs> catch anything good out there out at Seymour where did Boston Celtics livery go dang it <laughs> I really wanted that one back here they must have just found a Delta gate and took it can we get a pilot cam on this kind of Got quite the lineup out there. Got a helicopter coming in too, but I'm trying to do something here behind the scenes. I don't know whose helicopter. That looks like a private helicopter. Got an American E-175 landing there. Just touched now. The American Airlines 777 is next, I believe. Maybe, no, it's not next. It's second. Second in a line. So at least it's going to land during the daylight. That was I was a little worried that it was going to land after dark. Where did everybody go? There's nobody standing out here at this gate now. There were people standing out here a minute ago. Now there's nobody. <laughs> so the A220 is just stuck sitting here for a minute. Oh, got Alaska getting a move on over there on the other side. As soon as this one here gets a move on, we'll go to it. Got this another American E-175 coming in. After this one, we do have the 777 arrival. Still nobody out there to greet that A220. Oddly enough.
what's up informational how you doing buddy we do have the the triple seven is second in line after this one and Alaska getting ready to make its way back to Seattle yeah I saw that on the uh, I saw that on the Facebook group oh man Ala sorry guys Alaska you have just been had the spotlight stolen from you there we go get your screenshots ready of that one spirit in the birthday cake livery now we're not going to miss the triple seven arrival it's just now popping out from behind the building but this during golden hour looks amazing it is busy tonight and i didn't think it was going to be busy this evening because of the fact that we only had like 140 something flights today but i guess they're all in the evening <laughs> as opposed to early this morning Jackie's back <laughs> All right, we'll focus on the triple seven in just a minute as it gets closer. Come on, don't go behind the clouds, son. And we've got to do our sunset shot this evening as well. Looks like it's going to be a nice one. American Airlines 737 getting a move on, headed out. You guys will hear that one go by in just a moment. Yeah, it's very busy today. Now, if you guys are enjoying today's show, wait until a little later in spring and summer. It's like this all the time in the evenings here. When we have our 200 flights a day, it's amazing. It's part of what makes me come out here on Tuesdays and Thursdays because it is so busy. But we decided to change things up this week, give you guys a couple of Air France episodes. Hopefully, Air France goes to five days a week and we don't have to figure out days to uh, bring you guys Air France. Hopefully, we won't miss Spirit's departure, but we do have the American 777 coming in from London Heathrow. Got several lining up out there behind the triple seven. Can see at least two. I saw three on flight radar. And spirit's gonna move, of course it is. See you spirit lining up out there all right I'm gonna mute late there's our hello from the a220 I'm gonna mute let you guys enjoy the sounds of the a220 and of course the triple seven and the Trent 800s Daniel, it's going to park on C25 on the opposite corner of the terminal.
hopefully you guys enjoyed the sights and sounds of the American Airlines 777. If you did, you know, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. We're doing this three days a week. Ah, we got Iceland. Is that Iceland? It is Iceland. Iceland Air in from Reykjavik. Hey, Carolyn. Oop, a little bit of a bounce there for Iceland. Call this one the toothpaste livery. <laughs> the bright blue tail looks more like the like a tube of toothpaste, but this one definitely definitely fits it. when I'm going back to Charlotte with me being out of work last month and stuff that that short paycheck is going to catch up to me probably soon so I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be able to make it back to Charlotte hopefully soon um, I really I was thinking about that today I really do want to make it back to Charlotte very 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 soon within the next few weeks um, I know we have a lot going coming up in April so far you got Easter and I got a couple other things on Sundays but I think if we do a Charlotte show we'll probably do them on Saturday and possibly come back and do an RDU show but it'll give me a buffer between travel and going back to work on Monday Speaking of, all right, got a little bit, got one arrival, but as promised, here's our sunset shot that I like to give you guys each and every evening show that we do. I do have viewers who do enjoy the sunset, so there you guys go. Beautiful sun, Carolina sunset this evening. I want to give you guys a sunrise show one day. I don't know how many of you guys would be up early enough for a Sunday morning sunrise show, but the sunrises are just as spectacular. What's up, Everett? Hopefully you're doing well this evening. Got an American A321 touching down over here on 23 right. Got an E175 getting ready to depart, I believe. 
going to stick with the sunset for just a minute more. Let it go down below the horizon there and we'll get back to the action. There's our E-175. You are very welcome, Deborah. I know how much you guys enjoy our sunset shots. So it's something I try to do each and every time we have the opportunity to do it. This one here is going to go completely above the sunset. <laughs> Go back over here for just a second while I check to see what we got going on. I don't see any movements at the moment. Overlooking part of downtown Durham and Chapel Hill over there. Let's check the old flight radar. Who do we got? Got a FedEx ATR coming in here shortly. In just seven minutes. ATR 72600 freighter. And no other arrivals for a little bit, actually. But with all the arrivals we do have here on the ground, maybe we will have quite a few departures coming up. Ralph, good evening. Oop. You guys move too fast. Neela, thank you. Good evening. Hope you're doing well. Lock that in for a moment. See, we were nice and busy for the first two hours of the show, and now it's going to be quiet for a little while. <laughs> I feel like. We do have Air France departure at se supposed to be 7.30. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it is not delayed this evening. Everett with a $10 super chat. Thanks for the nice view. You are very welcome, Everett, as always. Again, I know how much some of you guys really enjoy our sunset shots here. So I try to accommodate that. As long as we have good sunsets. Some nights we don't have very good sunsets. Like Sunday? No. <laughs> Clouds rolled in and we didn't have anything. Oh, you got a call. So that's why you haven't been on lately, Neela. I was wondering where you've been. Yeah, I've been I've been sick too. Off and on. My foot, a cold. Pollen. <laughs> I 
I think this this weather, the the colder weather returning, tried to revert me back to hibernation mode because yesterday I was so tired. <laughs> I went home and I went. To, what was bad is I went to bed early on Monday night. I went to bed at like I don't know eight thirty, and then yesterday I was so tired. And then I, I fell asleep before 9 o'clock, stayed up till about 10, and then went to bed. 10, 10.30. <laughs> Today, not doing so bad. I'm, I'm awake. But also the weather is a lot warmer today than it has been. Or than it has been the last couple of days. Neela, thank you so much. Neela with a $2 super chat. Thank you. Two pound super chat. Thank you so much. Barry, what's up? Yeah, I... Eat, dude, even drinking coffee, it was like... But not enough for me. I'm like, oh, and I'm trying to get up, get moving, working on cars, and my body's like, what are you doing? Go to bed. And I'm like, I can't. I got to get moving. But yeah, I've fallen asleep early the last few do few nights. Thank you, Justin. Two euro. <laughs> Two pound is uh, UK. Oh boy. One of these days I'll learn currency. <laughs> Enough for a coffee. Exactly. Thank you, Neela. Yeah, it was weird. I was fine on Sunday. You know, the weather was nice Saturday and Sunday. I was fine, energized. Then that cold weather hit Monday. And I was like, all right, I'm out. I'm so tired the last two days. FedEx ATR coming in from... I think this one's coming in from Wilmington. We'll have another one a little later on coming in from New Bern. Ooh, COVID. That's not good, Barry. Yeah, I've been battling a lot of things over the last month or two. I'm so sick of being sick and sick of being tired. I just, ugh, I want to feel normal. Of course, now we're going to get the... North Carolina, lovely, one day it's winter, one day it's spring, one day it's summer attitude from the weather. <laughs> Never know what, what kind of clothes to put on in the morning. Oh, it's going to be 80 in the afternoon, but it's only going to be 15 in the morning. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Being in in and out, like the fluctuation in the weather, it definitely gets me too, Neela. Every year in the spring, I seem to get a little something. Of course, uh, you guys know Sunday I was battling a cough. I've still been battling it, but mostly at night here lately. Southwest getting a move on. Over here on 2-3 left. 
as we were focused on the ATR. Yeah, the pollen is is getting on my nerves. When I got here, I got a big dusting of it in my eye. I'm like, all right, I'm not, I'm done with this. My black car is no longer black; it's yellow. Everything I touch at work is covered in pollen. That American's gonna leave a little heavy. <laughs> Got a CRJ, Delta CRJ, just headed out that way. Yeah, I have I have hoodies. I have one hoodie in my car and I think I have like two two jackets in the car. And I keep both jackets in the car because when you're up here it's windy, as you guys know. You guys can probably still hear the wind. And one jacket sometimes is just not enough, so I'll end up wearing two thick heavy winter coats to uh combat in the wind. I have yet to mow my yard. My yard's not ready. <laughs> Black and yellow. <laughs> my yard's not ready for that yet. Yeah, I got a hoodie in my car. I've got a, like a windbreaker type jacket, rain, sh the soft shell jacket, and then I've got my big heavy winter jacket in the car that I was wearing this morning. As a matter of fact. Went into work and it was 34 degrees. I'm like, this is fantastic. Not. But I was still wearing shorts, even in 34 degree weather. Once short season hits, I don't change whether it's... No matter how cold it is outside after that. Clearing the fire escape for the CRJ. Nice. Well, my front yard, so I cut my front yard really, really short. Hey, here we go. Air France already getting ready to do her thing. Uh, so I cut my yard almost all the way up until December because I have a big tree in my front yard and the leaves go everywhere so I set the deck height as low as I can set it and then I mow it like three or four times mulch up all the leaves and then I bag all the leaves and it just ugh, I hate that tree it dents my car with acorns right now it's leaving these long little fluffy things all over the place it just oh. I like the tree for the shade but in the summer but when it's doing it's fall thing and with the acorns and then in the spring leaving the long little thing ugh, tree gets on my nerves <laughs> my car looks like it's been through a uh, a a uh, a hailstorm. <laughs> Alright, while we wait on Air France to push back, we do have another Southwest. Yep, spring. First day of spring was yesterday, today, yesterday. Last week's weather was really nice. This week, uh, 
I think this today is the warmest day we're going to have this week. Look. Every time I go to click on somebody, you guys say <laughs> something. That it is a beautiful night here in Raleigh. Thank you for joining us. Come on, come on, come on. Stay focused. What, I don't know what your problem is today. But you're bugging me. All right. Back to the main attraction here for today's show. Going to be here probably till 10 tonight. I think we'll stay for the FedEx departure at 9.55. As well as the American 777 departure... If it departs on time, as well as the FedEx MD11 departure at about 9.15. But again, I wanted to bring you guys a Air France show. I know we haven't done one in quite some time. As a matter of fact, I don't think we've done Air France since we got kicked out of the airport back in January. <laughs> I think that was actually the last time we saw Air France. <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't Air France bringing us the bad juju to the show <laughs> and getting us kicked out of here. <laughs> Our friend Tony was with us that night and even he got kicked out of here. It was weird. But again, a huge thank you to RDU for clarifying and clearing all of that up and we are here and back and now that it, the weather is warmer we are here a lot more <laughs> screenshot time exactly all right here she goes air france pushing back once Air France gets ready to start, I will mute my mug and turn up the sound for you guys to enjoy. Let's see, Air France hit the light pole, was that in December? Or was that January, early January? Molly knows the exact date, I believe. She can backdate her video, she's the one that took, took the video. <laughs> Good evening. Make sure if you're enjoying this evening's show, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Doing this three days a week. We're going to do Air France again on Friday. And then, of course, we'll be here to do our normal thing on Sunday. May start a little earlier on Sunday. I don't know. We'll see what happens, whether I start early on Sunday or not. I would like to bring you guys an early morning show one Sunday. Oh, it was in November. All right. Thank you, Molly. The Dreamliner is the only one that they bring. Unfortunately, Air France was looking into bringing the A350-900. 
Unfortunately, the A350-900 is 13 feet wider than the Dreamliner, so it will not fit in that gate. And that's sad for all of us. Everybody here at RDU, plane spotters, staff alike, were highly anticipating the A350. Unfortunately, it is too wide for the gate that they occupy. And you might be asking yourself, well, why can't they just go to another gate? Well, due to customs. Customs is only set only for the gates down here at the end. I think there's four of them, if I'm not mistaken. And so they, unfortunately, with American Airlines being there, they can't take that one. I don't even think it, they looked at that gate and it was still too wide for where the 777 is. And so they do have a gate that will fit it, but there is no customs at that end of the terminal, unfortunately. I do love the A350. They are beautiful, especially the Air France A350. Now we are getting the Lufthansa A330 in June, July. We have so many airlines coming in June and July, I get them mixed up. Maybe one of these days I'll remember. <laughs> but Lufthansa and Air France will occupy the same gate. So, if somebody has a stumble, well, somebody's going to be delayed. So hopefully we'll get Lufthansa on Sunday. Otherwise, if we don't get Lufthansa on Sunday, we're not going to get Lufthansa on the show. Because again, I do work during the day. So we don't start until 6 p.m., sadly. Yeah, that's why... Um, that's why Air France was pushing so hard. They they asked RDU if they would shuttle people on a bus from one end of the airport to the other to come through the customs gates. And they couldn't come to terms. They couldn't come to an agreement. So unfortunately, they couldn't. All right, I'm muting. You guys enjoy the sounds of the Dreamliner.
All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that sound. Please leave a like if you did. So Air France gets a move on. I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit. We will turn it back up as she departs. But we're going to turn it down just a smidgen because we do have this Delta back here. Thank you everyone for being here this evening, this beautiful Wednesday evening here in Raleigh, Durham. Here to capture Air France. If you're new to the channel, please, I encourage you to subscribe. Nope, no, no incident reports this time. They made it out free and clear. A lot of traffic coming in. I'm counting at least four. So it may be a few minutes before Air France departs. Again, when Air France departs, I will turn the volume back up and we will I will mute my microphone for you guys to enjoy it. Come on, focus. Thank you. I know, the lights are hard for you, Nikon. And we transition over to a Delta 757 arriving in from Atlanta, Georgia. fuss for the 757. I don't even know if he's using reverse on this one. Doesn't look like it. Yes, also, Molly just brought that up. Go check out our Facebook page. She left a link there in the description. Got a UPS departure here. There we go. This is getting good. Good evening to be plane spotting for sure. UPS A300. Going to be a rocket launch, will it? Great sounding departure. Got another arrival there in the distance. UPS almost snuck out on me. I was like, 
Oh boy, is that Air France already? Please no. <laughs> Little Delta CRJ making its way in. See Air France there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you, Molly, for posting the Instagram page as well. We do have our Instagram page if you want like to check out some of our content over there. I am working on trying to get back to posting over there more often. As a matter of fact, I sn this entire show I've been snapping pictures. <laughs> I do prefer to do video over there on, on Instagram, but... Alright, is that Air France? Will this give me enough time to mute? Alright, I'm muting. You guys enjoy the sounds of the Dreamliner. Stunning departure by the Dreamliner there. Welcome to the show. Good evening everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. an icon focus your night's not done yet you still got two more hours buddy Man, is it really eight o'clock already holy cow time flies when the airport's busy frontier airlines flying in who do we have on the back today
we seen this one here before? I think we have. It's funny to think we didn't even see a single Frontier the other night. At least we get one tonight. just an hour away now from our UPS MD-11 departure and then hopefully I think the 777 is, doesn't depart until 1030 if I'm not mistaken since it did arrive at 730 today so I don't know that we're going to if it is we're not going to catch it because we're going to end the show at 10 o'clock little two for one shot there this one looks like UPS. You can tell by the color of the lights. Deborah Ray. Glad you could join us this evening. This Delta down here making all kinds of noise. UPS and the A300 here make its way down to the UPS ranks. I swear their lights always look green. It's weird. Green or yellow. I can't believe we missed Cubby. I was kind of hoping Cubby would be back this evening. But sadly, no. Got another one out there in the distance. A lot more traffic this evening than I thought we were going to get. That is for sure. the wind. It is getting a little chilly. Of course, I left my jacket in the car, as I always do. <laughs> J. 
Jet Blue in the mint livery. Hello. I've been waiting for you for a while now. Saw you in DCA a few months ago. Finally, you're here again. You were here earlier last week. And of course, you're probably not going to make your way back here, unfortunately. No! I want this one back here, darn it. Oh, I love JetBlue's new livery. I think it's amazing. Why couldn't you have landed like an hour ago and we were in Golden Hour? Man, they're stacking up out there. Count two, three, possibly three. Oh, where were you an hour ago? Seriously. We have this one. We also have the Boston Celtics livery here as well. Iceland. Is that Iceland's tail pushing back? Maybe not pushing back. But. It's cool we get two JetBlue specials in one day. I really like this one. I like this one a lot. I don't know what you guys think of it, but I love it. Oh, this is a divert diversion as well. Interesting. Was this one coming in from JFK as well? <laughs> You're funny. I'll have you know it is not our first show there, Pip. Diverting from Birmingham. Interesting. I don't know why we're having jet blue uh, diversions. I got this Delta sitting down here all crossed up. Like, I don't know, nobody's out here to accept it or what is going on, but. Oh, it was heading to. JFK. So was the Boston Celtics livery. So that's weird that both of them are here. Maybe they've got weather in JFK or something. Looks like United. And of course that one's going to go long and head down to the opposite end. As you can see we have Iceland's tail over here. Bright minty green stripe there. Not quite ready to push back I don't think. But this one right here. Dude, what, what, why can't they figure out what to do with you? Come on. <laughs> Hmm. 
That's weird. I wonder why they're di diverting then. Over here. All right, guys. Give me one minute. I'm going to run to my car and grab my jacket just to uh, knock off some of this wind chill here. I will be right back. they were getting it so Tony I don't know I assume you've been listening so we got the Boston Celtics livery from JetBlue and we also got the uh, new mint livery here as well Captain John what's up sir alright now that this traffic jam is cleared up over here <laughs> Speaking of that Boston Celtics, I wonder when that'll leave. Bells. Right there. There they are. There's your bells. <laughs> William's good hearing wins again. <laughs> At least I heard it this time. <laughs> the first one or two you guys were here and I never heard. Got a couple more arrivals headed in, lining up for final. The FedEx ATR. I don't know if it'll make it down. Apologies for missing the second FedEx ATR of the day. I had to get my jacket. It's getting a little chilly. That's not it. Wrong one. Me and my camera just aren't lined up. There it is. Our second of two FedEx ATR. This one coming in from New Bern.
Who do we have now? Is this Jet Blue again? Getting a lot of Jet Blue tonight. It's either Jet Blue or United. Again, I'm not using Flight Radar due to the fact that I use Flight Radar on my phone, and Flight and our phone is powering tonight's show. That makes four jet blue we've got on the ground right now, which is an unheard of for RDU. And it's another A220. So we got two A220s on the ground here at RDU tonight. Gate C10, well, they, they're going to be waiting a minute because that other A220 is still sitting at C10. <laughs> Will we get a hello from this A220? Got a slight hello from the other A220 as it pulled into its gate a little earlier. No, no, uh, we had two diversions for JetBlue, and uh, both of them special liveries, and neither one of them had any special, special assists or anything, so they were both headed to JFK, neither obviously made it. They don't even look like they're, re well, they might be getting close now, they're not ready to go on C10 down here. So I don't know where this one's going to go unless they try to stuff it into C8, but there's nobody at C8. So this will be interesting to see where they where they put this JetBlue as that other one is still not ready to go. Dana, good evening. Thank you for joining us. I already have our next show posted. If you guys have not checked that out yet, it is posted for Friday night at 6 p.m. I did post both shows, tonight's show and that show last night. An American Airlines 737 making its way in. Looks like there's several out at the end of the runway waiting for departure as well. Well, you guys know I am all about this A220. Yep, we had the Apache fly over and fly in a little while earlier in the show. Beautiful lighting for that arrival as well. JetBlue at JFK. Yeah, we apparently because again we've got two flights already from from there, and then this one right here. They're saying it came from JFK as well, or it just came from JFK. Seventy-five for American Airlines.
All right, who's going to line up next? I know there's at least two more down there. Unfortunately, we can't see them for the trees. Or that could be that FedEx ATR. <laughs> I can't see when they when they taxi out to the end of the runway some nights. Because nobody turns on their ident lights around here. Go figure. So this one, <laughs> this one here is going to be waiting because I still don't see anybody down here at C10. So it is waiting for this A220 here to get a move on, but I'm not sure it's going to anytime soon. I don't really see a whole lot of movement down here. That is very, very, very awesome. I gotta go back a little bit, okay. In my chat here a moment. See if there's another place in and out of JFK. Alright, Neela, have a good evening. Have a good night. Hopefully, you get better soon, and we'll see you on your show soon. Jeff, good evening, welcome into the show. Yep, we've been providing coverage well, since what, September? September, November, somewhere around in there. So welcome in. Yeah, everything looks off. Like, this plane looks like it's settled in and ready to stay the night. Like... There's no movement. Now there's somebody running over that way towards it. I don't know uh, what the deal is. Who do we have right here? Is this an American that came? That 737? There's our American 737. And I'm wondering why... Let's see, what time is it? 8.30? Iceland Air hasn't pushed back. Yet. Either. Normally they're on the ground for about an hour, hour and a half. They came in right after Air, uh, American Airlines from London in the 777. Alright, Neela, I look forward to seeing your show. Thank you for stopping in and watching this evening. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate everybody stopping in this evening for the show as well. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe if you like what you see. I'm doing this currently three days a week. Normally we do it on Tuesdays and when Tuesdays and Thursday as well as Sundays. But I figured I would switch it up this week and give you guys some Air France action. We'll be back again on Friday. For some more Air France action. Still got my A220 sitting over there. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Are they going to get another gate ready for this one? Like... Man. This is definitely different. Something we don't see very often. Jet blue waiting on gates or anything like that. Thank you, Neela. <laughs> I agree, Jeff. I agree. There's a lot of people, a lot of people that don't know um, that we're out here, but uh, we are. We've been growing steadily for the last few months, trying to get the word out there. We might be a small airport, but we love plane spotting here at RDU. And we do go other places like Charlotte, Dulles. As a matter of fact, somebody was asking me when I was going to go to Charlotte again. Hopefully, 
within the next couple of weeks we'll have a Saturday show in Charlotte Got a little CRJ getting a move on Thank you so much everybody for the all those likes. Thank you for that update, Molly. I need to put a subscriber counter up on the thing so we can have live updates when you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to do something here behind the scenes. Give me one second. And I'm getting this much. No, oh, it's a tra Maybe that's what it is, Tony. Maybe they, uh, maybe it's just a traffic jam. There's too many of them on the ground, so they're having to divert here to RDU and other airports. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're having a network issue or something who knows because again this one here this A220 still not moving and then of course the A220 over here can't do anything until this one move, pushes back so I, sh I, sh I need a counter so we, or uh, a timer so we know how long this one's been sitting here. <laughs> yeah, I had to I had to run to the car for sure and get my get my jacket. Oh we're lagging a minute. Give it a second. It'll it'll stop. Having a little issue with service here. Hold on. I just happened to see it bottom out. It's because I messed with my messed with the phone. Give it just a minute. It'll come back. See, this is why we don't mess with the phone. It causes problems. It causes a little little hesitation there. Right, yeah, like Newark, Dulles, Philly, Baltimore, Reagan. Why are you? Maybe they were already. Maybe they were just, you know, this. This was the closest airport for them at that time. To make it, you know, to make it to. Oh, that could be part of our problem too. The pickup line is getting a little full. The ring road is not full. I know you guys haven't heard me say the ring road is full in a long time since early fall. But wait, spring and when summer gets here, we'll be talking about a full ring road quite often. Um, I don't know if they'll be stuck. I th it'll. I think it will. Uh, if they can get to a gate, they'll get off the plane until they can get to where they're going. If I'm not mistaken, um, I've never been. I've never been in that situation where I've diverted somewhere. Some, some they stay on. Like if it's a weather situation, some they'll land, park somewhere. Everybody will stay on board, and then they'll take off and go into wherever they're trying to get into. Other situations, it's a good possibility that they, they get off the plane, then they repurpose the plane, and then they figure out how to get you where you're going later on in the day, depending on where you're at, I think. Yeah, I had a little blip in the software, so I was scared that it was doing some weird stuff. Oh, I'd love to go to Seattle. All right, looks like we got Southwest arriving 2-3 left. 
go to that one as it gets closer. I think it's southwest. Again, you guys, now you guys know. I don't, I'm not messing with flight radar. I'm not messing with my phone for that reason. Don't want to interrupt. Um, service. Great, Tony said, with a $25 super chat, great stream tonight to get the Type R out of the parking deck. Yeah, I don't think the Type R wants to spend the night here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony. As always, great support to the channel on and off the show. Oh, no, not Southwest. What is this? One of our biz jets. Bright enough to be southwest, though. Then we lose it behind the building there. It sounded like that one was starting to move, but I guess not. There's still nobody over here at this other one. Got another jet blue heading out though. That E190. They may move. I don't know. They may put the A220, this A220 over on the other side. Now that that one's moved out of the way. We'll see what happens here. If not run into a traffic jam with jet blue. Most of the time it's American Airlines or Delta that we have <laughs> have these major traffic jams. Molly with a $10 super chat. Molly, another great team member here on Carolina Aviation. Uh, Radar Box is another one, I believe. Uh, we do get some of the A320s. It's not very often that we get the A320s. Here lately, they've been on an A220 kick. I think we had one on Sunday. We had the uh, eight, uh, A320. As a matter of fact, actually, no. I take that back. We have two A320s here now. With the Boston Celtics livery and the uh, Mint livery. Both of which we can't see because uh, I have no clue where they went. They're down on the other end of the, um, the, other end of the terminal down there. Both of those diverting here from JFK. Completely forgot that those two were A320. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to see them leave. I really wish that mint livery would have gotten here a lot sooner. Is this another jet blue? Of course, as soon as I move the camera, our A220 moves. Give us another hello, A220. Give us a good loud one, please. I think this is United. No, 
frontier. Too many blue tails. Alright, who do we have on board this one? Could it be Cubby? We haven't seen Cubby in a long time. If it's not, it doesn't look like it. Flower the Hummingbird. An A320 Neo arriving from Denver. Thank you, Molly. Hummingbird looks mad, don't it? Looks like he could uh, mess you up with that beak. There's what we were waiting for. Hello, H20. A220 making its way around the corner to a different gate. Else so we hear flaps extending. <laughs> Very nice, Jeff. I know. I kind of. I wish I lived that close to the airport. All right. Here's our JetBlue in the E190 heading out. meet you in the cell phone lot behind them <laughs> for some <laughs> it did it looked angry didn't it look like he wanted to fight He's been over here a couple of times to harass me, as per usual. <laughs> Hopefully he had a great stream over there. Where was he? Was he in Albuquerque or was he in... Uh, Santa Fe this evening. Landon, uh, well I thought it was going to switch this week, but uh, honestly I don't know. I figured it would have switched by now, but they're still on their their wintertime schedule. We're just now 50, 30 minutes out from our MD-11 departure for UPS. And again, I think the London departure is at 10.30 as opposed to 9.30. What we're used to, because it was here about an hour late. Oh, he went. To, he drove up to Albuquerque. All right, who do we got? Making their way in now. Gonna stay till ten. To there's usually a FedEx departure at about ten o'clock. In and around that time frame. So we are going to at least stay for that. So we are here till 10. But we do have the MD-11 departure to look forward to. We also haven't had Iceland depart yet. That's 
it's weird. Normally Iceland's pretty pretty quick on the turnaround here. There's our jet blue tail finally finding its way to a gate. Ooh, 96.8. That's a hot. Hot, hot. Our other jet blue we were talking about, the A220, still just hanging out here. It does have all of its doors. <laughs> None have fallen off. And landing gear is intact. <laughs> landing without incident. Good evening. Welcome in. I know, I had to work before this too, ERB. Alright, who do we got? We got somebody lining up for departure. American Airlines. Sounds like how the weather's going to be here in the next couple of weeks, probably. I'm hoping this is the last chilly spell we have here. I'm tired of this cold weather. All right, bear with me. Service is cutting out again. I did not touch the phone this time. There is a lot of traffic down below us. So give the lag just a moment. We'll be back. It's coming. It's coming back. Give us just a moment, guys. Got a lot of cars down below us, so that's what's what's cutting into our service. As a matter of fact, my phone and every all my service looks good, so just give it a minute. We're having a little blip here. It's something. Just give it a second. <laughs> it does that every now and then. I I don't know. I don't know what causes it. I don't know if it's traffic down below us or the planes leaving. We do know that the planes will affect the show, depending on the plane. We had that problem in Dulles, and if we get too close to them, it does affect our cell phone service. So just bear with us. Southwest Airlines getting a move on here. And behind the building it goes. I think we're getting ready to put this 737 right here off to bed. It's usually what happens with this one when it's over here. I still can't figure out why Iceland hasn't pushed back yet. Amtrak, good evening. Um, yeah, you got a Cracker Barrel, a Hooters, McDonald's, uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, Alpaca, the RDU Gallery has Wayback Burger, Pizza Hut, Witch Witch, uh, what is that other place? 
There's another place in RDU Gallery that's pretty good. Yeah, there's plenty to plenty to eat around the airport. Longhorn Steakhouse being my favorite. <laughs> I haven't eaten there in forever. I also like Cracker Barrel about the same as I do Longhorn. We also have Angus Barn. Yeah, I forget. I always forget about Angus Barn. I've never eaten at Angus Barn. Everybody says it's really, really good, but it's really, really expensive. <laughs> so I've never, never tried to eat there. I think we did one time, but I like to go and what I like to do when I'm not doing the show if I'm coming out here just to hang out is I like to if I'm either either or either coming up to the parking garage or going to the observation deck I'll go pick up breakfast especially if it's early go pick up breakfast or pick up lunch and I'll go sit at the observation deck where they have all the picnic tables and such and hang out there and watch the planes do my photography thing afterward just you know just enjoy the day. I need to figure out if I can get some DoorDash up here one of these days. Get me some grub one of these evenings. <laughs> They're like, yes, can you deliver to the corner of the parking garage at RDU? <laughs> Won't cost you anything to come into the parking garage, drop it off, and leave got to be here longer than a certain amount of time before it costs money yeah that's a good way to do it you come out here grab some food and go sit at the uh, they also have drink machines at our observation deck now which was fantastic news when they put those in I'm so so thrilled when they did that Iceland is up on flight radar I see it has moved. Yeah, I never ate there before. You can go down to, you could pack an entire picnic and not leave the observation area all day long if you wanted to. They got bathrooms, the drink machine. It's great. As a matter of fact, I've spent a lot of days down there. <laughs> Almost full days. Just hanging out with everybody down there. Chatting with people that... Just botting planes. This was back before I started doing the show. And... Uh, now that it's, you know, spring... I'll probably be here more... A little bit more off... Uh, off camera... Got United flying in. As a matter of fact, I like to go every now and then. I like to go over to the RDU gallery after the show. Go pick up a nice pizza for like nine bucks. Nice Pizza Hut pizza. Although it is a little out of my way. It's like two miles up the road, but it is a little out of my way heading home. Yes, sir, Matt, man. That's why I stopped at McDonald's the other night and got a, uh, two McChickens, a large fry, and a, a frappe, and it was, like, almost $13. I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like, McDonald's, your food's not even that good. Your frappe is good, but your food isn't $13 worth good. Coming in from Dulles. Man, I cannot wait to get back to Dulles. You guys have no idea. I absolutely love Dulles. Dulles is one of my favorite airports. The variety of aircraft, 
airlines at Dulles is amazing. Yeah, see, taking this one over and putting it over on the wrong for bed. <laughs> see all that traffic cleared out? Now we're not having any issues with the phone. Thank you, Brian Lloyd, for uh, that. Hey, lady, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Christmas lights. Thank you, Mom. Still got a couple sitting out there waiting for departure, I think. And just a reminder, we are only a few minutes away from our MD-11 departure. Our MD-11 departure is scheduled for 9.05, 9.10, something like that. And then I think we have a FedEx 767. Before the 10 o'clock hour, we'll, we will stay for a FedEx 767 departure. Hopefully it's on time. And if it is, 10 o'clock will be the ending of the show. So we have a little more than an hour left of the show. Thank you guys so much for joining us here in Raleigh. Please hit that like button if you're liking what you're seeing. Also, if you're new, subscribe. It helps the channel a great deal. I want to welcome everybody in. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for being here with us on this Wednesday edition of Carolina Aviation Live. Yep, you can buy like Starbucks, Mountain Dew, Diet Dew, Pepsi, <laughs> all kinds of drinks. They're Pepsi machines, so cheaper than buying them at the gas station, too. That's for sure. Yeah, I wish we would get an A380 here but you know what when we go to Dulles hopefully we'll get the Lufthansa A380 the Lufthansa 747 and British Airways A380 along with ETA uh, Brussels I'm trying to think Play Airlines KLM Asiana Asiana is in the morning uh, Korean Air, get all of the all of the major airlines up in Dulles. I cannot wait to make it back to Dulles. I wish I lived in DC. Love that airport so much. Very funny. You're definitely not new, William. <laughs> You've been with us for a while now, sir. Whiz, yep. <laughs> toothpaste. Yep, our tube of toothpaste is headed out to the end of two, three, right. Do have an arrival. We'll transition to that arrival in just a moment. You know, I, I, I love Dulles. I love the variety. I love the, you know, just being at the airport. I really wish they had a better spotter deal, though. They really don't have any real good spotting locations. You, you almost have to be on the parking deck to spot. And, uh, but it is really convenient if you're spotting there for a few hours. Because inside of the, the concourse terminal, before you even go to TSA, they have all kinds of stores and restaurants and, 
you know, places to just sit down and hang out if if you need a break from being outside, plane spotting. Um, that's what I did the last trip I went up there. I went in early in the morning, grabbed some breakfast and uh, a couple cup of coffees. Then I went out, gave you guys a show later on that morning. And uh, whereas here, we don't have, we have like one little cafe before you reach TSA. And then, you know, of course, there's a bunch of restaurants past that. But we have one little, one little cafe, I think, before you reach that point. So... Exactly, exactly, Grantham. Why go to fast food anymore? They've gotten, they've gotten so expensive. That's what I said. I can go over here to RDU Gallery and get a personal uh, Pizza Hut pizza and a drink for like ten or twelve bucks, and I can pick any drink I want because it's inside. It's like a gas station type deal. It's a big, huge convenience store. They even have a bar in there, which is great. I've never, I'm not much of a drinker, but it's awesome it's like a lounge area i mean it's, it's a really cool place a really cool idea i really like it but the fact that i can get a pizza pizza hut pizza and a drink for you know 10 11 dollars and it's actually hot and you know as they it's made to order you go up and they're like you want this this and this and then they make it you go shop get your drink other amenities or snacks and then they call your name and boom you're done inflammation <laughs> that's exactly what it is now I did go to Wayback Burger and I got a, a uh, their Carolina Burger I think it, it's called and a milkshake and a big thing of fries. They give you a great big portion of fries. And I think it was like 20 bucks. But that milk, granted, that milkshake was like $7 by itself. But I have to admit, it was an apple pie milkshake. It was fantastic. So no complaints for paying for good food. And it was a lot of food. They give you like a big thing of fries. It was great. But when you're talking McDonald's, that McChicken with just mayo and lettuce and then some fries and their frappe no absolutely not way way back's actually not even um, not even considered fast food either of course neither is pizza hut so and yes RDU gallery is very very clean I enjoy stopping in there before and after shows I'm really glad they built that place. It's really cool. I thought at first it was going to be an office building because it's like three floors. And there goes Iceland back to Reykjavik. Iceland. It was like three floors and then um, I'm like, oh, they're going to build an office building. And then they put the gas station awning up and I'm like, all right, what is this? What is this about to be? So I don't know what gate... I'm assuming this one's waiting on gate C12. But, got a catering truck in the way. Welcome into the show, everyone. Welcome into our Wednesday evening show. Give us a minute. We are a bit laggy for a moment. You guys might not be seeing any lag, but I, my software is showing me that I had a little blip in service there. Could have been from Iceland's departure. Again, the aircraft do mess with them every now and again. So they got this catering truck in the way of this American Airlines. And, by the way... 
our JetBlue A220 that I don't even know what time it was supposed to leave. It still hasn't moved. But they did move the cone. There was a cone behind it. And the jetway is moving. Perfect. And I don't hear bells over the E-175 down there. What's up, Fareed? Push it. So, uh, <laughs> somebody's gonna have to move here. All right, here we go. Got our wing walkers coming out to accept our E-175. Let's say the wing, the E-175 is gonna have to be out of the way beforehand. Is this what I think it is? You leaving early? You're sneaking out on me. Here we go. Our MD-11 departure. Amtrak, see you on the next one. We'll be back on Friday. That video, that show is already posted over here on YouTube. Nice. Cater all the way to the mountain. Greensboro, that's for sure. I've made that trip so many times from here to to the mountains of western North Carolina. <laughs> I have family there, I have a house there as well. My brother's there. will be FedEx around the 10 o'clock hour. There's still plenty more action to come. Got one on arrival. 
park sometimes, depending on the day, gets a little busy for the 9 o'clock hour. We'll see what happens today. We haven't been here in a long time on a Wednesday. As a matter of fact, last time we were here on a Wednesday, we got kicked out. <laughs> or maybe that was a Monday. Anyway, Air France was here and we got kicked out of the airport. So... As you guys can hear the bells. Oh no, we're we are we are not leaving until ten, sir. We're back to our regularly scheduled programming for now. <laughs> Three days a week, ten o'clock. Luckily, tonight it's been busy enough. We're staying until 10 o'clock at least because this will be the slowest hour we've had, I think. If it slows down, which hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we still we catch Boston Celtics livery and the JetBlue Mint liveries. Hopefully we catch both of those too as they depart this evening. Let's just have to wait and see what happens. Hey, your car's over there. Stay, stay till ten oh one. Molly definitely won that one by a lot. Yeah, for now, until something happens. Hopefully nothing happens. Me and Brianna are making, trying to make sure nothing else happens. We're doing our absolute best to <laughs> make sure I'm able to stay healthy and nothing happens with the kids and nothing, you know. <laughs> We're trying our best to make sure that we are here. We enjoy being here. She enjoys watching the show. She... she so always, you know, I'll be like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to, like yesterday, she's like, eh. I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to do a show. She's like, I was like, it's going to be cold, there's low flight numbers. And she's like, we'll do one tomorrow, it's going to be more. So, here we are. I was like, that's a good idea. Got Air France. I'll do it that way. <laughs> Another little blip there in service. I think it's because it messed with the phone again. All right, as they pull JetBlue A220 to the starting line there, we'll go back to that one in just a moment as we have an arrival. It is being towed. They're towing it to the start line. Stay till 10.01 a.m. Yeah, no. There's not enough traffic to stay overnight here at RDU. Not at any airport, as a matter of fact. I don't even think we make it on data that long. Be, be one and done, and then we'll be done until my thing renews. <laughs> Today is the 20th, right? Yeah. Our thing re renews tomorrow. Uh, the latest I've been here, I've been here till like 11. Uh, not doing the show, but I have been here that way, just hanging out. And it, 10 o'clock is a fairly busy hour, but I try to leave here well before that, especially on nights that I have to work. So I try to be out of here by 10, because I have to be, you know, 5 a.m comes very very quickly yeah
You're right, Tony. I could do a Dawn to Dusk show. I would love to. But that type of show will have to come from support from viewers like you, sir, and bring me some Wi-Fi hotspot. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be down for a week or two. We'll run out of we'll run out of data. <laughs> So you, Molly, and Vincent need to volunteer on Sundays and come hang out for, you know, a few shows and donate some uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. Hello. All right, you guys enjoy the AT20. Anderson, usually when, when we run out, we run out. That's it. It doesn't throttle down. I mean, it does, I guess. But it throttles down so bad that it's it's unbearable. I can't do a show on it. And what's bad is, is so, I have Verizon Wireless. I have unlimited data. I can stream from my cell phone all day, every day, any time of the day. It wouldn't matter. But because I use it as a hotspot, Verizon's like, oh, we cap you at 160 gigabytes of hotspot. So I have my cell phone with 160 gigs, and then I have a mobile Wi-Fi through Verizon Wireless with uh, an additional 150 gigs on it. And doing three shows a week, we depending on how long we do our Sunday shows, usually we're pushing it to the limit, and I'll have to you know, cut a week short where we only do where we only do two shows. Hello and goodbye to you, A220. Um, so I really have to monitor how long our shows are. Otherwise, we have to we'll have to cut one or two out each week. So. A lot of times when you guys don't see us here, it's we're trying to save data for other, you know, other shows. So. I, I, I enjoy doing the long shows. I've done a 10-hour show here before. Um, I did it on one Sunday. What, was it worth it? No, not really. Numbers wise, from a okay, so from a business standpoint, that 10 hour show was not good. Just being here hanging out at the airport, absolutely. From a business type standpoint, if you think of this as like a business, it wasn't very good. <laughs> we do have Spectrum. Um, I don't know, I think we have Spectrum Mobile. I was thinking about trying Google Fi, um, but as we get bigger, I will look into upgrading all of that stuff. 
so we can do the longer shows. Again, we also have to be mindful. Like I said a little while ago, I, 10 o'clock is usually my limit. You know, we do our two, two shows a week d- during the week. And they're usually, you know, 6, 6, uh, 6 p.m. to 10, 10 p.m. I have to be mindful of that because, like, again, 5 a.m. rolls around very, very quickly. And I don't get home till usually takes me anywhere 15, 20 minutes to clean up. And then I'm usually home by 11 and in bed by 11.30, 12-ish. And then I have to be back up at 12 or at 5. So we, you know, I'm try- I try to be mindful of that as well as our data so some some shows my ankles are pretty dead <laughs> depends on what shoes I wear if I don't wear a good good comfortable shoe and if I plan on doing a, a nice 10 hour show like that I'll pull the uh, I have a, a camping chair that I bring it's always in my car. No matter where I go, it's always in my car. If I know I'm going to do a long show, and I know I'm going to have periods where I can take a little break, then I'll pull it up behind me, and I'll sit down and still be able to see the computer and chat with you guys. And um, But I'll be able to take a break every every so often. All right, Jeff, have a good night. We will see you on the next one. See, that's what I'm saying, Tony. I need something like that, something that will bounce back and forth between providers instead of just being stuck on one provider. So that was my thought Thought on Google, Google Fi, was it will be able to bounce back and bounce in between all the different carriers instead of being stuck on one carrier the whole time. Yeah, you're not. You <laughs> so I'm. I have scars and all kinds of things up my feet from surgeries as a baby. And you're not telling me nothing I don't know. Being on my feet 10 hours a day at the dealership is almost more than I could bear. As a matter of fact, there for a while, and I still have them in the car. I carry around these foam things as well, and I put them on the concrete here. So I'm not completely standing on solid, hard concrete. Yeah, with the multiple surgeries that I've had on my feet and stuff, a, a, a really long day can be brutal. And not only the day, like, I could probably go through the whole day. Like, right now I'm fine. But tomorrow might be the issue. I might get up and not, barely be able to walk. And I've got to, like, stretch, you know, do all kinds of things to be able to, to work again. Because again, you know, I'm, I do this as a hobby. I do this for fun, and I'm at work, you know, ten hours a day, and then I come and do this for you guys, along with you guys. And those really long days at work where there's tons and tons and tons of work and I've run ragged at work those are the day and then I come and do the show those are the days you guys will hear me be like all right you know I'm (laughs) I'm just not with it because it's like uh you know what do you call a person no body oh boy I have no idea. Thank you, Brian Lloyd. And I I enjoy it. I'm not complaining. I would be here every day if I could. 
but there are limitations to being here every day unfortunately because again I definitely would be doing this every day <laughs> And I would love to be, do, like, really long shows on Sunday. Again, I've done 10-hour shows on Sunday before. I've only done that once. And it wasn't a bad show. It went by really, really fast. It was really good. Got two arrivals. I saw FedEx lined up out there. That's why I've got the camera where I've got it. FedEx is out there. Pushed back, I think. I thought I saw it. Nobody knows. <laughs> I'll let you know. What? Now, we're not frozen. We're watching for FedEx out there. That's why I've got the camera where I've got it. There's not a whole lot going on, so I'm watching for, for FedEx. And the only way for me to be able to see it is through the camera. Because you look up out there with just the eyes, you can't can't really see out there. Delta Connection, CRJ. There goes Manuel. Our monkey friend getting ready to get a move on. No, I cannot. I cannot dislocate any of my joints. <laughs> Alright, got another arrival. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for FedEx there at the bottom of the bottom of your screen. Don't want it to sneak out on us. What time uh Molly, what time is uh American leaving? time is the triple seven leaving and I, I have all sneaky suspicions that it's after 10 o'clock otherwise it would have been pushing back by right pushing back by now Ten thirty-five. Thank you, Evan. That's what I thought. I know. I am kind of ready for them to uh, go back to their summertime schedule, so they're departing at you know six thirty, seven o'clock. Speaking of long shows, by the way, today we're at almost four hours already. We started 30 minutes early today. Started our show at 5.30 to catch the arrival of the Dreamliner. Yeah, 10.30. Yeah, I'm not staying. I would love to stay, but... Ooh, maybe this summer, when they when they change their schedule around, maybe we'll get the triple uh, seven and the seven eight seven departures back to back. I did see that a couple of times with Delta and the American triple seven last year when they were both flying to Europe. So I see Frontier for sure. Do have another one coming in. 
Second. Yeah, Frontier, Manuel, the monkey. You guys will get one more shot at Bells with that one. One last look at Manuel there. Black men, good evening. All right, let's take a look down here and see what what's happening down here in FedEx. You guys like to play games. You guys are like ghosts. One minute you're there, then the next minute you're not. Bugs me. We are getting close to that time for them to depart. Again, we got one American 737 over here and putting it to bed, getting it ready for its departure first thing in the morning. Hope you're doing well, Rob. Good to see you again. o'clock slowest hour we've had so far this evening it's been a great show I hope you guys have really enjoyed tonight's show I think we've done a fantastic job this evening Two hundred and sixty likes. Thank you, Molly. For that update. Just a friendly reminder, if you haven't hit that like button, please do so. We are here for another thirty minutes or so, waiting on FedEx departure. Matter of fact, uh, I don't even know what else is actually happening. We do have that other one headed. In an American. We'll head over to that one as it gets closer. As a matter of fact, I want to I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on how good tonight's show 
has been. All right, so we started tonight's show with 2,564 subscribers. Anybody care to guess how many subscribers we have now? And no cheating. Just, just guess. Molly is correct. Our next show is this Friday. That show is already posted and ready to go for you to leave a like on as well. Hopefully we can reach 100 likes on Friday's show before the end of, or yeah, before the end of the first hour on Friday. So we started tonight's show, again, with 2,564 subscribers. Anybody care to get, wager a guess on how many, how many we have now after tonight? And I can also watch this in real time. So if you guys haven't hit that like button, I can definitely see it. <laughs> More. A <laughs> little bit more, Molly. A little bit more. You guys are awesome for subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Uh, 2750 is a lot. That would be fantastic, but that's a lot. All right, so we are at 2,633 subscribers, you guys. So we went from 2,564 to 2,633 tonight an amazing show I'm so glad we are growing you guys are awesome huge thank you to guys for for making this possible I wonder when we're going to hit 3,000. Thinking probably by the end of April we'll hit 3,000. What do you guys think? You guys are going to get one more opportunity at Bells. I see two more arrivals off in the distance out there. I got one eye on this one, one eye on the arrival, and one eye on the uh, FedEx. Matt Man, <coughs> Matt Man says 3,000 by tax day, April 15th. If we have more shows like tonight, we'd definitely be there by then, I think. Definitely think by... By the end of April, we'll be at 3,000 new subscribers. I'm telling you, I need a, I need one of those. Uh, I need to figure out how to put that on, on on screen so you guys can watch the subscriber count go up. Because again, I can watch it live right here on my phone under YouTube Studio. Or remember how, but there's a way to do it, and I don't really want to mess my phone too much. I don't want to mess up our service here. Ooh, FedEx is on flight radar. Thank you. 
Again, we're going to end in 20 minutes. Weather. F I mean, we're obviously going to wait for FedEx, but if FedEx leaves at 10.05, be here for it. If it leaves early, we'll still be here for it. Hopefully, I did a better job getting you guys up on the screen tonight. I felt really bad on Sunday. I missed a membership milestone. I felt so bad. I had to. Uh, Jackie's a great friend of the channel. I had to apologize to her profusely. I felt so bad that I missed it. All because I'm not used to the software, but now I know. <laughs> Because it doesn't say that it's a membership milestone. It just turns her message green. And I'm like, what does that mean? So I, I missed her message. So hopefully I, I did a good job getting you guys up on screen tonight. That was one of the big things about doing this show. I wanted you guys to feel like you were a part of the show. And show you guys your messages up on our screen during the show and hopefully we did a good job greeting each and every one of you we have a goal of being the friendliest show if you guys missed that conversation last week I, while I was sick I watched tons of different uh, live streams Saw a lot of people get missed, me being me included, on the show. And they had way more moderators than we have. Granted, they have a whole lot more people watching, but... Bells. Good evening, Aviation. What's up? each and every one of you to feel like you're a part of the show as best as we can do again I may not be able to get to each and every message due to like right now focusing on this getting this shot for you guys so my attention is away from the channel dang he's rolling long and fast alright I see FedEx I see there two of them? Are they both lined up down there? Alright, so we got somebody right there. Where did that other beacon go? There's two of them. One there. No. There it is. I <laughs> can't see. Alright, JetBlue A220. Are you getting ready to get a move on? Uh oh. All right, bear with us. We'll be back in a second.
All right, just bear with us. Give us a second. Service is giving us a hard time for some reason. It's trying its best to bounce back. Give me, give us a second. Good on service, so I don't know what's causing that. Come on, knock it off. And just like that, it comes back. It's so weird how that happens. Hopefully, everybody's back. The uh, so I'm watching the. I have these what look like signal bars on the bottom of my thing, and it jumps around and turns yellow, turns red, turns green, and it was like jumping up and down. All up and down. So, apologies for that. I don't know what causes it. I have no clue. Because cell phone, four bars, 5G ultra wide. Who knows what causes it. Some sort of disturbance here at the airport, I think. And we got our other JetBlue A220 pushing back. I really wish we get the Boston Celtics livery and the Mint livery to get a move on out of here before we end tonight's show, but I don't think that's going to happen. What time is that one coming in? Anybody know? Thank you everybody for coming back. Refreshing the screen. Again, you missed it. I have no idea what causes that. It just... One minute it's perfect and in the green and then the next it just bottoms out. It's such a weird... A weird thing. Alright, FedEx 767. I'm going to mute. You guys enjoy the sound. Yeah, we probably won't be here for that one. Um, that one is a little on the late side for us. Plus, you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. I was, Like I said, I was really hoping Boston Celtics and the Mint livery would leave, but assuming they're not going to this evening. Thank you, William, for that update. Alright, so, will that other FedEx, that other FedEx leaves, like, right after. I'll end the show at 10 o'clock, and then it's like, oh, well, let's take off. I'll be cleaning up. It's so weird. I wish they would leave back-to-back. -back. They came in back-to-back. -back. Why can't they leave back-to-back? -back? That was amazing. It's the first time we've seen two FedEx come in back-to-back -back like that today as well. It's been an all-around amazing show, you guys. Like Today's probably been one of the best shows we've had in a very long while. Of course, the month of February was terrible. We weren't here very much. Part of January when we got kicked out of the airport. <laughs> but it's good that we're back. It's not good. Yeah, I would, I would like to stay. If we could see it, I would totally be here for it. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see it. Now, if it was probably one of the one liveries, one of the flag liveries, probably would stay for that as well, but because it's bigger, it's easier to see. 
Oh, what is happening here? I thought our other A220 was leaving, but looks like our A220 is being tugged around. Interesting. Now this one may not leave tonight, obviously. Not anytime soon. I still want to know where those other two are, though. It's weird. Where are they? And neither one of the A320s were scheduled, I don't think. I think they were both diversions. They were supposed to be headed to JFK, but they both diverted here. Such a cool looking shot. I like the way they have the engines lit up. That's what we were thinking, lady, but uh, Tony was saying that it more than likely looks like a traffic jam in JFK. So, honestly, I have no idea. One was LaGuardia. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. I really hope we would get them leaving. Got somebody moving over on the other side, but they don't have any ident lights on, so I don't know who it is. See it with the camera. I can't see it. That's United. Okay. All right. Let's have another peek down at FedEx. One last look down there. Let's see. Is our other seven six seven? Ready to go? No, we got the doors open still. Bells. again. See, I don't know why the, uh, why the service does that. Just did it to us again. Very, 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 very strange. The cell phone is fine. I don't have any service issues. Anyway, we just grit, bear it, deal with it. As long as it doesn't kick us out of our show, I think we can all handle a tiny amount of lag. I know it's hard to deal with lag. It drives me nuts, but at the same time, it, it's nothing I can do about it. Has nothing to do with me. 
All right, United headed out two, two, three, right. So good evening. Welcome to the show. Our unique Wednesday show. <laughs> Again, Wednesdays aren't our normal days. Because the airport's usually slow. But tonight, today for traffic was, was busy. It was exactly how I like it. And of course when summer rolls around again. I reiterate that it will be just as busy if not busier in the evenings. So when summertime does roll around. It will be harder for me to catch all you guys' messages. Again with the drops again. Anywho. We only have a few minutes left in the show anyway. Again, though, if you do want to catch Air France again later this week, make sure to go over to Friday's show that I already have set up and waiting. Make sure you smash that like button on that show. Join us again, again Friday at 6 p.m. for some more Air France action. If Air France does come in a little on the late side again like it did today or early, then we will start the show early today. We did start the show around 5.30 p.m. today. Try to give you guys as much Air France as I can when we do these Air France shows. And hopefully we won't have to make it a special thing here soon. Hopefully they'll go to five to seven days a week. All right, we might stay for that one. If it is going to come in at, at 10.06, we have made exceptions before and stayed late. Hopefully the service doesn't mess up on us again. As you guys can hear, it is very, very quiet here at the airport now. Although, again, the 10 o'clock hour is one of those busy hours. How busy it will be, I don't know. We're not going to stay for the entire hour. I do got to get home, get some grub, and get to bed. Again, 5 a.m. is... comes very, very quickly. Pretty early rotation for that United. They got the, the door closed on FedEx down here. They closed it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can't mess up my phone. I don't know when that's going to do to depart. It's like 10.05 or something. 10.10. Something like that. Thank you for putting that link in the description or in the chat box for Friday's show. somebody starting up. Who is that? I wish I could see that side of the airport from here. Hold on. And we got the beacons on the FedEx. So I will stay for the FedEx departure. I know we always do this. It is 10 o'clock now.
pretty close to back-to-back -back departures for them. Not really. That other one departed, what, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> 10 minutes and counting for that last one that departed. But we do have beacons on the 767 down there. It should be. You are right, Aviation. Plus, I think we've got Frontier and the Hummingbird livery starting up behind us. And of course, if the uh, American 777 decides to push back any time now, well, then I guess we're staying for that one. Which would mark the latest show if we stayed till 10.30. I don't think we've ever stayed until 10.30 or past 10.30 for a show. And I'm trying not to tonight, but it all depends on traffic. <laughs> Got three arrivals, and then we have FedEx down there pushing back. It sounds like Frontier behind us. As a matter of fact, I think I can even see Southwest already. There you go. Give you guys a little three for one shot there. Almost four for one. If FedEx was in the shot. Yeah, like I said, the 10 o'clock hour for arrivals gets pretty busy. I was really kind of stalling, too, to see if either one of those Jet Blues leave. But that actually could have been one of them starting up. It's, it's not. It is Frontier. Angry Hummingbird heading out. Hide behind a terminal now. Flight control testing being done. on service don't do this to me. <laughs> all right we go from the hummingbird over to our next arrival Seven thirty seven from Phoenix.
Yeah. I got plenty of time for Southwest. There's still a ways out there. Yeah, information, we're still here. Going to end as soon as FedEx, uh, FedEx and the uh, Frontier depart. Come on, FedEx. Wait. Wait. FedEx, stop. Wait. What are you doing? Oh, I've lost track of this. No, FedEx. Stop. Hold your horses. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be... Nope, you're not gonna wait, are ya? Shoot. Alright, I got time. I got time. I got time. I got time. Come on, FedEx. Move it. This will be a fast turn. Come on, FedEx. Alright, I'm gonna mute. You guys enjoy FedEx. Of course it is, Molly. Of course it is. That one there is harder to get. <sighs> Man. Yep, there it is. Fed. <laughs> We got one, two, three more arrivals. <sighs> Alright, at this rate, we might as well stay for the triple seven. What do you guys think? Y'all want to stay for the triple seven? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almost a full moon directly above my head here. Gonna have plenty of action. We might as well end on a high note with the triple seven, huh? What do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, I caught it too. I was really surprised. I was skeptical we would be able to see it, but we did. We did catch it. That's. Just, I think that's the second or third time I've caught that one here. So, what do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Triple seven, ten thirty. It's ten oh nine. We've got one, two, three arrivals. Basically two arrivals because I think that one is a biz jet. Biz jets are hard to get at night. Biz jets are hard to get during the day. What am I talking about? Can you stay awake that long, Molly? <laughs> Alright, we'll stay for the triple seven. Might as well go crazy if we're gonna if we're gonna do it, huh? This'll be like a Sunday show. How long have we been on? We'll be on five hours, so by the time the triple seven leaves, I think. We are currently at four hours and thirty-seven minutes. Touchdown.
You know, surprisingly, I'm wide awake. Now, tomorrow would be a different story. I might be completely exhausted tomorrow. Man, there is a lot of traffic. There's, there's count three, at least. Probably one hiding behind the, the tower. I'll be sipping on some caffeine. <laughs> Don't you give up yet. I know it's past your bedtime, but calm down, Nikon. Nick the Nikon. You'll go back in your box in a minute. Starbucks, one of the, the canned energy drinks sounds pretty good right now. I do like those. But I'm actually, you know what, to be perfectly honest, like I said, I am full of energy at the moment. Like, I feel really good this evening. <laughs> I used to be a night owl. I still am every now and then. Unless I know I've got to go to work. Whenever I was out sick for that week, man, I was staying up pretty late some of those nights. I was trying to keep up with a routine schedule, but it was hard when I'd wake up my normal time and then I would take a nap at three o'clock for like two days. And then after that, I had so much energy. I was like, all right staying up late I was like crap I really need to not do that and stay in my my schedule but and it was hard as you can see there on the right hand side of your screen there our UPS heading out to the runway Our big girl is up on flight radar. suck up any bubble wrap on your way, did you? Yeah, once your sleep schedule gets messed up, man, it's... It's really hard to, uh... To readjust the schedule that's why I was saying about work earlier it's like if I had to work until 6 every day there's no way I've been doing till 5 till 5 o'clock for the last 11 years I am not interested in working past 5 o'clock no interest as soon as 5 o'clock hits that's it I'm done I'm out some of these guys that work are like oh I gotta stay and get these hours I'm like after I'll get them in the morning First thing in the morning. I'll get here at 7. I don't care. 5 o'clock, that's it. I'm done. The 
but some of those guys aren't married whatnot so they don't have anything else to do and I'm like nope I don't have a life between 7 and 5 p.m. 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. after that it's my time <laughs> you know I honestly didn't have a hard time transitioning this time from time change all right I'm gonna mute you guys enjoy Big girl, you're it. The last plane of the show. Move it. <laughs> you're due out in 10 minutes. 12 minutes. Yep, I missed Southwest, unfortunately. Happens. I need another cam. Well, even if I had another camera, there wouldn't have been no way to change. Because as it was, as UPS was departing, Southwest was touching down. No way to get that one unless I had split screen. <laughs> and I'd need a couple more team members here to operate other cameras. And the computer and such to make that happen, I think. Hey, car's down there. It's under the parking garage. See the lights blinking. Uh, we are at almost in hour five of our programming, sir. Had people wanted to see a Southwest after 10 o'clock as well as FedEx. Then UPS popped up. And then, of course, the 777. We might as well just go ahead and stay till 1030 for that one. <laughs> Man, I wish it was Friday so I didn't have to work tomorrow. Ah. Hey, you never know. Maybe, maybe Friday night might be more of the same. If if uh, if it's busy enough around here, Friday night be, might be another one of the, one of these nights. Now I can't do these all the time. Just FYI. <laughs> Every once in a while, I can I can I can handle. All the time, no. Molly, were you sick of that horn? Well, that, <laughs> that comment about, yeah, you found your car says otherwise. <laughs> Molly, did you work today? I don't think you did, did you? Or is that tomorrow, you know? I can't remember. Alright, again, we're waiting on a triple seven. Come on. Move it. I like to move it. Move it. Oh, see? Now we're we're here late enough I'm getting loopy. I'm gonna start singing here in a second. Not. I don't sing. Never convince me. 
Maybe if the radio is a lot louder than I am, I would sing. But <laughs> not a cloud in the sky either. All right, just a reminder, if you haven't hit that like button yet, please do so. We are waiting on our last, excuse me, last plane of the show. We do have two more arrivals coming in, it looks like, from the northeast. Thank you, William, for uh, that update. And, uh, oh. Yeah, I gotta be to work at seven in the morning. <laughs> See you, Pip. Have a good night. We'll compare notes tomorrow. I'll be sure to send you my notes from tonight. <laughs> Walking on the keyboard, is she, lady? Come on. Come. Triple set. Yoo-hoo. You better not be delayed. Because if you're delayed, I'm ending it right now. Done. <laughs> not really. We'll wait for these other two arrivals. <laughs> for all the time, my pad. Ooh, we got a Delta A220. That'll be what? Our third one? I did, dude. Well, there's like one. I see one itty bitty one over in the distance. Maybe on the other side of the parking garage that I can't see. But directly above me? Absolutely not. Got beautiful stars and almost a full moon. Not quite. It's a very clear evening here in RDU. Very nice out here. Come on, Triple Seven. Move it. Move it. Move it. I command you to move. an American Airlines something or other sitting over there waiting for a while and finally pulling up to a gate. I saw that tail. It was sitting over there for a very long time. Interesting. But I don't see anybody moving out or anything to that effect. Maybe they were waiting on their grounds people to uh, show up over there or something. getting close. Is it close enough? Will Nick the Nikon do his thing? Or is he ready for bed? <laughs> Alright, here's our Delta A220. you. Do your thing, dude.
And there we go. There she is, last plane of the show. Again, I will mute my microphone and you guys will enjoy the sounds of the Trent 800 as this one starts and spools. Again with the service issues, cut it out. <laughs> Probably beat the triple seven because they still got to do their checklists and everything. Well, hello, Delta A220. Good evening, Chase. What's up? Waiting on our last plane of the evening. Right here. Alright, I'm going to mute. You guys enjoy the trends. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. You catch us toward the end of our show, waiting for American Airlines 777, headed back to London Heathrow here. Thank you guys for joining us. And this is one of those parts of the show. If you are new to the channel, I do mute the microphone so you guys can enjoy the beautiful sounds of the Trents on the triple seven.
Oh, I can't tell if we've got our smoky APU. Normally I do the smoky APU shot. I forgot. We haven't done triple seven departure in about two weeks, three weeks. All right, we got an American Airlines up for arrival. Oh, don't tell me that. Well, maybe the 777 isn't our last plane of the show. If the mint livery pushed back, I definitely don't want to miss that one. Yep, there it is. JetBlue's mint livery heading out. That one right there is definitely the last plane of tonight's episode. Because it looks like it's going to depart right after the 777. Do love this livery. Surprise having it here tonight. Caught the Boston Celtic one, Celtics plane here several times, so if it pushes back, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> this one right here, however, this is the first time we have caught this one here at RDU on the show. Taxiing in a hurry. It was, it was a diversion earlier in the show. It's always a great way to welcome the first day of spring. Snow. <laughs> I know here in North Carolina it was 34 degrees. It's 30, 34 or 37 this morning and yesterday morning as I got up to go to work at 6 o'clock. Don't think it's going to be that cold at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Thank goodness. I am wearing a jacket, but I am also wearing shorts. And it's not too bad up here right now.
All right, if you enjoyed the sounds of those Trent 800s, hit that like button. That sounded fantastic tonight. Such a good sounding departure. That one headed back to London Heathrow. See that one again on Friday. Now we're just waiting on it. the JetBlue Mint. Mint. And then that is going to do it for us here tonight from RDU. By the way, this is the latest we've ever done a show here from RDU. <laughs> Hope everyone has enjoyed today's show. It's been a very good, very eventful show today. Very busy. A lot busier than I thought it was going to be. Had a lot of specials. Spirits, birthday cake, delivery. Jet Blues Mint. Jet Blues Boston Celtics. The hero for Southwest. Lots of good things happening today. Very good show. 290 likes. Thank you, William, for that. Do we have 10 more likes? Can we reach 300? That would be the highest number of likes I think we've ever reached. Actually, I think we've done more at sh when we did a Charlotte show, I think. Made a lot of new friends tonight. We went from <clears throat> 2,564 friends to 2,645, I believe. So thank you guys for subscribing and liking to tonight's show. Yeah, very late tonight, Daryl. This is the latest show we've ever done. I don't even think we were on this late when we were in in Dulles. But this plane right here, Jet Blues Mint, is gonna end tonight's show. So glad we're able to catch this one. Oh, bear with us. Service is dropping out a little bit. It'll be back. I don't know. It's showing it in the yellow and it only dropped like 200 points. I just see it skipping a little bit. At least it's coming back. It wasn't like those few Sundays where it would drop out and never come back. Alright, here we go. Jet Blues, Mint Livery, getting a move on. Last plane of tonight's show. Very beautiful livery that. Love that livery. Alright you guys. That's going to do it for us here at RDU. Thank you to everyone who subscribed today. And who hit the like button. We've gained a bunch of new friends. Thank you guys so much. As a matter of fact let me give you guys one last number on our new friend count what did I say two we started at 568 we are now at 2648 thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel it means a great deal 
it helps the channel a lot thank you for your likes thank you for being here thank you for joining us today it's been an amazing show one of the best shows we've had in a very long time I want to thank all of my moderators you guys did a great job as usual thank you to all of my channel members again you guys are amazing as are all of you again we'll be back on Friday that show is posted for Friday night make sure you go ahead and go over there hit the like button turn on the notification bell so you're notified when we go live we may go live 30 minutes early like we did tonight if Air France arrives early or late however you want to look at it um, but yes we will be back here on Friday scheduled time 6 p.m. but again make sure your notification bell is turned on to all so you know if I go live early I tend to do that here lately I get here a little early and I'm like alright I get a little antsy traffic coming in so make sure you guys do that again thank you guys so much you guys have a wonderful Thursday good night guys